Hello, family. Hey, how you doing? What's up with it? Today is February 1st, 2016, and I have come on to do a video about this goddamn uh, Housewives of Atlanta last night. Now, uh, listen. Let me, look, now I did a video last week. I'm going to post that as well um, because I need to. You know what I mean? I, it's, it's been a nemesis because I have to put all the clips together as part of um, my homework, and I'm, so it's well overdue, and I have to, you know, do that with the editing software and all that shit again, so I had to do three videos, I had to do my, um, oh, this is all a side note, I, I know I'm supposed to be talking about the housewife shit, but I am, but I had to do the, uh, the, the housewives, the vision board, and, um, my cute boxes. So those was the three videos. I had to pick three videos that I had to um, edit. And so those are the three videos that I had to pick. So anyway, those are the ones that I picked. And so I have to so I have to put that video up. So anyway, but I taped it last week. But last night, though, I watched The Housewives of Atlanta. And let me just go and say this right now. Look, Kenya, I really, really, I, 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 I like you, but I'm not liking you. You know what I'm saying? Now, you know, like I said last week, I'm kind of giving you some passes because it's showing that your foundation has been a little rocky, you know. And when a young lady has no strong foundation with her mother and no real um, relationship with her mom, that bonding is kind of broke, then therefore she becomes a broken lady, you know, and she's very bitter and, and, and all that kind of shit. So... I can kind of see why you are the way that you are, but don't allow that shit to get you fucked up, though. Because, see, now, there's no way in the world you would have been able to pull my motherfucking chair, though. That right there, that right there was a pure qualification to get your motherfucking ass whooped instantly. I don't give a fuck about the boom operator, um, Montego Bay, uh, all this right here. Everybody over there waiting on us to do this. None of that shit. You would have got your ass whooped. Real shit. Now, Kim was cool, calm, and collective, and I like that about her. She's bringing a little bit more um, subtlety to the cast, and she's bringing more of what a mother is supposed to be doing. You know, and especially when you have small children, I ain't really mad at her that she took her kids and things of that nature. Hey, it was a business trip for her. Her husband is there, plus she got her nanny there, or, you know, a, a person there to help her with her children. So get out of her business, you know, on what she got going on. If she chose to take her husband and her kids, that's what she chose to do. She still... Um, fulfilling her obligation to the show to do the taping that y'all got going on. But, hell, I'm not going to go all to the village with y'all motherfucking messy asses. You know, I'm going to hang with my motherfucking husband and my kids, and I'm not mad at her. I'm, uh, I'm up here to, th this is a two-party motherfucking thing. Low-key family uh, vacation, plus I'm working on two jobs. Not for the show, not only for the show, but I'm also got this click going on. Man, I'm not mad at Kim. And, um, but old girl is, was simply jealous. She was salty. Um, but bitch, you, it's not like you really complied. Like, did you really want to do this shit for Cynthia or not? I'm just wondering, did you really want to do it? Because bitch, you backed out. But now I see reason why you MIA and shit. Cause you fucking this big ass motherfucking Zulu motherfucker. I'm not, listen, when y'all pulled up to the airport, I was like, oh my God, Lord have mercy, shit. And I had my dude right there, you know what I'm saying? And he was like, well, damn. You know, he looked at me, he was like, you know, low-key wanted to say, is that what you want? I said, no, if you don't shut your drunk ass up, this nigga look good. I can't do nothing but give him his props, you know what I'm saying? I could tell that he's a younger man, you know, uh, and I can see that you all giggly and shit, but uh, all I'm going to say is, you was talking about, bet my house be done by Christmas. Well, Sheree said last night, your shit still ain't up to par. So, you know, I don't know. Is you just on dick right now and just, you know what I'm saying, just leaving shit to the wayside? I don't know. But that shit right there, they don't really like you, mama. They sick of your ass on this motherfucking show. You know, and everybody is looking at it. At it as a business venture, there has to be an antagonist in the cast. You've been picked as it. I got that. And to keep you relevant on the show and to keep these motherfuckers constantly calling you 
for the next rotation. I understand that you got to do some dumb shit. You got to do some shit, some shock and awe shit. And you're doing that. So, actually, you're playing the game. So, I, you know, that's what kind of softens me up about you is for, for the simple fact that you're really playing the game. It's making you look crazy, making you look like a villain, but you playing the motherfucking game. So, who can really be mad at it? But but then when you hear behind the scenes that your shit still ain't all the way on deck, mama, what is you doing with your motherfucking money? That's why I keep saying, that's why I keep saying all the while to all these young ladies and, you know, new money motherfuckers, you, I'm one too, you know what I mean? But you have to be responsible when you get that motherfucking money. You can't go out here and just, oh, okay, because Tyler Perry bought him a motherfucking house. I want me a house as big as his. I want me a mansion. I want me this. That's some right now money type shit. To maintain all that shit for the test of fucking time, to be able to pay all those, the, the maintenance and the upkeep of a mansion, you have to have a serious residual income or this shit is just short term. You know, just like I was saying about Black China and Amber Rose and some people was like, why should they move? Well, hell, if the show is going to pay for you to run this right now, then run this right now. But then you need to be putting some shit to the side to where it's okay. I don't know how long this shit going to run, but I'm going to ride it till the wheels fall off and then I'm going to start making, you know, putting this money that I'm making to the side and building some other things. You got to have a plan. You really, really have to have a plan because if you're, you know, to, to keep up with the limelight, the lifestyle, the show, the relevancy, all this shit. When it comes down to being on reality TV or just to be an actress or a musician, the upkeep on it is, oh my God, and motherfuckers is willing to do just about anything to stay in the mouths of motherfuckers, you know, and tend to keep to keep up with that shit, you know, is, is, is you know, hey, you know, to each his own. But mama, by now, I don't understand why you ain't got your ass whooped. I don't I don't understand. I mean, I understand Portia tried to do a little something to you. You know what I'm saying? And all that kind of shit. They brought her back. So, you know what I'm saying? She, you know. So, but girl, ugh. I don't even know. Like, whatever. Um, it was glad to see Nene back. Um, you know, and it seemed like she is a little bit more mild and more meek and more mellow. And I think it's because... You know, the new money shit then kind of, you know, you still in, she's still in that new money stage, but the, you know, the shininess is kind of, you know, washing off a little bit. And now let's get back to reality because now we, we spending out money, but the money ain't coming in. So then therefore we need to humble ourselves a little bit, go back to Bravo, start getting these checks back generated and going because we have to pay for all of this. All of this that we done put out here that said that we were and, you know, and we got this lifestyle and we finger popping and, 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 and bottle tossing and all that kind of shit. The upkeep on that shit is crazy and you would get lost in the sauce. You fuck around, be damn near suicidal because you can't keep up with the shit no more. You know what I'm saying? So I, my thing is, fuck all that shit. You can still have those type of friends and the motherfuckers that got that type of residual income, let them do them. But everybody ain't gonna have the same shit now, you know? And you got to be realistic with yourself. Get you some shit that you can fucking afford with all the shit go down and all this kind of shit. If the shit just hit the fan, you know, I'm gonna still have this right here, you know? And it's always good to have an impound account. You know, Portia, y'all motherfuckers need to really be having an impound account. Black China, Amber Rose, all y'all motherfuckers, if y'all living in big mansions and shit now, you need to be having a, re not, not only have a residual income, but you need to have an impound account to pay your property taxes, your insurance, um, 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 and, and your, ins your, your, your property taxes, your insurance, and your, um, uh, like if like say for instance your homeowners association and say for instance you got different like here we have like different era, areas that have mellow rules taxes and things of that nature you know your insurance it can fluctuate based on if you get things added to your home like me I got shit added onto my home so it make my made my my property insurance go, my homeowners insurance go up you know some people have to have mortgage insurance all those types of things. You know, and then the upkeep and the maintenance, you know, of, of of trying to keep up with that lifestyle, man, look, give me some shit that I can afford, 
Then, nigga, we can still roll. We can still go eat at Mr. Child's. We can still go do all that. Still go shopping. But I'm not going to be stressed the fuck out to try to keep up with this, all this right here, this front. Fuck that. You know? And that's one reason why I really adore Sheree. I love the way Sheree came in on the scene. Sheree is like, you know what? Look, I'm having fun. My kids is growing up. My baby, 19 motherfucking years old. Um, you know, her skin is flawless. She looks good. She looks rested. You know, she looks healthy. You know, she just have a glow about her. She just looks good. Got all her motherfucking teeth and shit. Man, look, I'm on Team Sheree. You know, I really, really am. I'm on Team Sheree. And, you know, uh... I, I, I still love me some candy. I just I just like candy. I like candies. Get down. She's on that same motherfucking thing. Get you some shit that you can afford and sit your ass down some motherfucking where. And let's keep this party rolling to keep making some revenue coming up in this piece. Let's try something else. Let's remix some shit. Let's do this right here to still bring keep bringing some money up in this motherfucker. Now, Cynthia, I love me some Cynthia as well. Yeah, she's a little wishy-washy because she seems like she's more of a follower. Like, she's not so much of a leader. So, when it comes down to her friendship, she seems like she kind of cling to them a little bit. And they're more alpha. And, and she's not that way. So, it makes it seem like she's wishy-washy a little bit because, you know, she kind of seems like she gravitates to st the strong personalities. And Nene, you know what I'm saying, is a strong personality. So, and just like that nigga that she married to, very strong personality. And she just seemed like, you know, but she's one that when she blow the fuck up, she's going to blow the fuck up because there's going to be so much emotion behind it, it just seems to me. And, but I, I, to me, it just seemed like she has a good spirit and a good heart. And I, I really like Cynthia. I like her business sense. I like what she got going on. She seemed like she just got a regular little modest ass pad, regular little modest ass vehicle. And look, I'm not going to go out here and go broke to try to keep up with these motherfuckers. But you come up in my pad, all my shit is paid for. I'm not mad at Cynthia. I'm not mad at the fact that, you, okay, nigga, you got to go to Carolina Gold. Go, 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 go. She looks good, too. She looks healthy. Look at her skin. Are you looking at some of these ladies' skin? You know? Now, see, these youngsters are still on cake and makeup. Up, uh, cake and on makeup, that is... Uh, that is... For some of us, for some of us, it's just not our thing. To each his own. But, to me, with all your make... Your, you got bad skin on all this month, and you got all this makeup on. When I was looking at um, Nene and when I was looking at uh, Kenya, it's like all you see is all of this, but all this makeup on it, and it just made it seem like it was worse with the lighting and all that. Oh, my God. Uh, I, I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I guess some people just, you know, I guess it's just, you know, like, you know, body shapes and whatever. Some people are pear shaped. Some people are, you know, hourglasses and some people are cones. So I guess that's just the way that it is. Some people hair grow real thick, real long. And some women's hair don't grow as long and as thick. So, you know, I guess it's just, you know, it's, I don't know, to each his own, you know, but they make up, they make up game be on tight. But all that motherfucking mm, makeup, I just, oh my God. I see where Kim was going with it. Like, take some of that motherfucking shit off. And it seems like the more um, you become okay with who you are as a woman, the more you kind of rid all those extra things. And you want to be bare. You want to be without. You want to just be clean. This is who I am. You don't like it? Nigga, do it moving. You know, but this is what's happening. This is what the fuck you signing up for. You want to fuck with me? This is who I am. I guess it just comes with age, you know. I guess it just comes with age. But you could tell the the, the, the women on that, they totally different. Like, man, we ain't finna do all that motherfucking shit. And they, they looking better than everybody. Because, I mean, yeah, Kim's face, her skin is flawless. Man, I, I ain't mad at it, you know. And she just seemed like she's happy, she's content. Why hate on that? Let her do her, you know what I'm saying? So, but, uh, also, another thing that I wanted to tap on to was... You know, I was checking out Portia, and I was also checking out Phaedra. And it was like, you know, you can go out, and you could put all this money on your body, have a badass figure, beautiful face, and all, but that's not going to equal happiness, Portia. It's not going to, that's not going to make you, 
you know, the top of the list. It's going to make you marketable to where you're going to attract more people and more different classes of people, men and women, the haves and the haves not. Yeah, it's going to get you to where you ain't got to stand in the line outside, you coming in through the back door or you bypassing the line all the way, you on some VIP status. I'm aware, okay? But um, there's also... Um, a uh, flip side to it to where it's a lot of times people already assume that you're with somebody. People already assume that, you know, well, this is a bougie bitch and this is this, this, this. When you look a certain type of way, some people just don't dig it. And here you are just so cute, you know. I mean, you're silly as hell, but you, you're you real cute. And it's like, where your dude at? You know what I'm saying? Where's your man at? I mean, damn. Now, Phaedra... I can understand her, where she's at, you know, she's in a transition stage to where it's okay, what am I going to do, you know, I got my my sons and she has an empire to build that she's building and, you know, so I can understand her on some, I'm going to J Jamaica and I'm just going to go lay out and just have me a rest child, get away from my kids, get away from my business and get away from everything and I just want to go lay out, have me a drink and just post up and just have me a good time and do me. That's where it seemed like Phaedra was on. But, 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 uh, uh, motherfucking what you call it? Um, Portia? Yeah, she felt a particular kind of way because here everybody, damn, Sheree, ex-husband, and came back in the game. This motherfucker was like, shit, nigga, look, I love you. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it's like, you know, but all this money and all this ass, is, it still ain't getting you what you need, mama. Sometimes it might just be you. You know, it just might be you. And then, like I was telling Kenny last night, you could be as pretty as you want to be, but if your motherfucking thought process is thrown off, you could be just as cute as you want to be, but I can't be, you know, no dumb motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? There's only certain conversations you can have with them. They can, you know, they, 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 um, uh, they, the, their arena is only so small. They can't, they can't discuss certain things. I like to be able to talk about politics, this, this, religion, all kinds of shit. Not just be able to just talk about, okay, but check out my ass and check out this right here and check out this right here. No, I want to be versed to where I could talk about all kinds of different things. We can sit at the table. We can talk about home ownership. We can talk about all kinds of shit. We can talk about traveling. We can talk about all kinds of shit. A lot of people don't have that, though, you know. And so, Portia, I don't know, mama. I mean, you got a lot going on, but you ain't got it going on. So, it's like, man, come on, baby. You know, but you still young. You still trying to figure what well, you ain't really that, that young. You know what I'm saying? Let me just say 38 young. At 30 motherfucking years old, goddammit, there's certain things you're supposed to be doing too. Let me just say it, you know. So, you know, but I guess it's just the fact that when you first came on the scene, you was like, like everybody else was old and you were so young and you were just so young and this person's so old and you this and old, old, old. I mean, you know what? I don't know. I mean... Portia, I, 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 you know, I, I'm not one to say I dislike people because I don't want to say that, but your portrayal on the show is just not, it's real dingy, real cute, but dingy, like, not really so much marriage material or hit it material, you know what I'm saying? I hate to say that, but yeah, that's just kind of what I'm, you know, kind of getting with you, and I don't know, I don't know. But I'm going to end it. But I wanted to say this, though. Um, Peter. Well, I said, all, I said all that I wanted to say on the other video. But, you know, Cynthia, man, girl. You know, I just, I just, I have, I don't know. It just seemed like, you know, you holding on to something that, you know, has seen his better days. And when I look at him, I see the Instagram video now. Every time I look at him, I see that Instagram video. I see, you know, him trying to go and do his own thing. Still want to kick it with you, but he still want to do his own thing. And, you know, mama, I don't know. I don't know. That's This is just my spin on it. Check out the other video. I really kind of dissected the whole thing from person to person. I'm probably missing some things from last night's show, but... You know, those were the things that really stood out to me. And it's like, man, they in Jamaica and they having fun. It just seemed like it should be so much fun. You know, but it's like somebody got to say something. Why is this, why is her, is her husband gay? I mean, just why, why is it always something? I don't know. What's up with that? 
Anyway, I'm out. I just had to get my little spin on and what I thought about the shit last night. I thought it was a pretty damn good show. You know, I watched the after show and all that other kind of stuff. Saw Nina Nose looking like she looked just like Beyonce Mama. That woman looked just like her. Looked very, very gorgeous. Very, very pretty, you know. I don't really like they show, though. I just got to say that. That Potomac. What is it? Potomac. Okay. Uh, I don't really, you know, it's like, ugh. I don't know. I can't relate. You know, it's like, it's some of them... I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't, I don't know. I don't know where they're going with that show. I ain't really feeling it, really. You know, I, I'm I'm Switzerland. On that note, deuces, I'm out. Love you guys. Love you guys for watching. You guys have a beautiful day. Love you.